Right, hello. I thought while I was feeding the fish, I hadn't really done a proper update on the uh, elephant ears in the bog filter. So, you can see, I don't know if you can see, I can see right to the bottom of this pond is four and a half foot deep, crystal clear, no fancy filtration system, letting nature do the work for me. So I've got lots of plants. And uh, they certainly help the water, but the bog filter is the, the thing. If you can get some greedy, nutrient hungry plants, and the uh, elephant ears definitely tick that box, then uh, that's gonna do the majority of the filtration for you. So I'm looking at when I put these elephant ears in, if you like colocaceas mainly. Um, let's just come around here. It was uh, what, end of July, come up to August, and they're all tiny little plants. And uh, yeah, so in two months, we're looking at two foot leaves on some of them. Obviously, it's hard to tell from this distance, I'm about 10 foot away, I'm not gonna climb up. Well, I suppose I could. So, yeah, this is just basically an update on the uh, elephant ears that I put in. Let's have a look. So the, the black magic has not done particularly well this year. They're pushing some leaves but they're very small but the uh, the biggest leaves are here I mean these leaves are pretty massive to be fair there you go there's a good bird's eye view of the pond yeah so basically it's an update on how well the elephant ears have done in the bog filter, in case anyone's interested. And uh, believe it or not, most of these are actually still in pots. I just literally put a pot in. Let's have a look. Some of these really big ones are still in, you can see tiny little pots there, literally four inch pots. But obviously the roots come out the bottom and infiltrate in the, the filter. These are uh, not all Escalente. I think the biggest ones, oops, just split the leaf there. The biggest ones are going to be Escalentes, which are the like biggest ones. But these other ones here, these are the Morrison's Bortedos, so they haven't got quite as big, but still a good size, well over a foot and a half. They are a slightly different shape, so that's just more of a uh, well, they're the ones they grow as a food crop, so they're not so so ornamental. So they're obviously grown for the tubers rather than the leaves. But yeah, done well. Absolutely filled out the, the bog filter. I'm sure if we'd have had a warmer, more sun in the August, the, these black magic wouldn't have been far behind. But last year I had leaves on these probably about this size but can't control the weather anyway thanks for watching see you later